Hello, ladies and gentlemen, infidels, welcome to my channel. Um, in this occasion, I'm going to show you a, um, a short clip or video that I made um, about um, Alan Parr uh, and Frankie Tarrett, Tourette, or whatever the fuck his name is, right? And uh, Frankie, Frankie was a guest on Alan Parr um, YouTube channel. And you know, Alan Parr is all about... Yeah, on his clips, like like he's very an impressionist person, right? So <laughs> you will see it's funny, right? So in this in this video, he will be talking about a question saying, "Atheist says give evidence your God uh, exists without using the Bible." So basically, a preacher has to prove a God without the Bible. Let's see how it goes. evidence outside of the bible do we have that god exists so excuse me guys we're going to start off with the questions about god first so all right i know your bible says that god exists but i don't believe it. no it doesn't say that it well it, it does say it but it's not an authority because because uh, it does say many things that are false in your bible so therefore mm -hmm. mr christian yeah good <laughs> where do you go from there that's that's great. Yeah. And what we do on a college campus, we talk about that's one of the big questions we talk about. Does You talk about bullshit. That's what you talk about. Yeah. You try to convince kids right, that your uh, whatever you talk is true, which is totally false. God exists. And I normally talk about three arg argument or claims, three bullshit claims, arguments for God or three pieces of evidence for God. It's not evidence. You, you're not presenting any evidence. You're presenting claims. The first is that the universe had a beginning, Alan. That yeah, that's a Kalam cosmological argument. It's just saying that the universe had a beginning. Period. You idiot Christians put a God into it. That's it. That's not evidence. There was a beginning to space, time, and matter. And even atheists... Had oh, by the way, uh, as I put here... Tarek is not an, uh, in any way, shape, or form a astrophysicist. He's making shit up. Admit this. I mean, even Stephen Hawking, who was the top physicist in the world until he died about four years ago, uh, said this. Almost everyone now believes that. <laughs> I just put that to a religious cosmological argument. The universe and time itself had a beginning at the big bang in other words there was a, a starting point for space time and matter no no of our universe you don't know anything about multi universes or anything like that our universe had a explosion somebody uh, something made it explode we don't know exactly what it is and even if the time before or after it happened right but you can start walk walking and time is already starting but it doesn't start when you start you can do another timing for that okay when do you start uh walking right but the same thing if you put a a cracker firecracker right and it goes bang you say oh time and space is started there no bollocks yeah in a bigger scale our universe uh started with a bang right did time started before that to to be able to bang it needs time to bang right so don't don't say that uh, oh my god did it and so this is not even controversial anymore people are admitting this the only thing that's controversial alan is what caused the beginning right yeah but if you don't know shut the fuck up simple as that right? and so it seems to me that if it seems to me you don't know it it seems for seems to be the case right so your your evidence is seems to be that's your strongest evidence on the Kalam cosmological argument. It seems to be. If space, time, and matter had a beginning, then what... Of our universe. Ever created space, time, and matter can't be made of space, time, and matter. That's a claim, bitch. Right? That's argument from ignorance. Right? Why don't you ask that to an astrophysicist and get educated by it? Right, but I think you're gonna be absolutely fucking dishonest because some a astrophysicist will actually tell you, I said, no, 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 my God did it. That's how Christianity are so 
uh, bankrupt, right? Because you are fixed into a book, right? And you cannot go around it. You have to make a word salads. You have to invent anything to say, my God did it, right? It's God of the gaps. We don't know it. The scientific community doesn't know it yet, right? And you say, yeah, I know it. My God did it. In other words, the cause must transcend space, time, and matter. So the cause must be spaceless. Hold on, spaceless. Just think about that. Spaceless means no space, right? No space. So there's nothing there to be in. So the rest is irrelevant. Okay, okay, no space. Well, you can say I've got no space to do something here, but fine. Timeless. Timeless, so means you're frozen in time. Okay, so time is not moving. Okay. Immaterial. Oh, immaterial. A big boy immaterial. So you are saying spaceless plus, plus timeless plus immaterial. What is that? That's nothing. You're actually saying nothing created the universe. For all intended purposes, nothing created the universe. That's, the, that's your highlight of your intellect. A dishonest intellect. Powerful to create the universe. Powerful. How can it be powerful if if it's got if it's got no space, no time, and no material or immaterial person? Uh, powerful. Where? Out of nothing. Person. To create something out of nothing. Really? So it's got nothing. I creates it. Okay. Personal. In order to choose to create, you might. No, you cannot choose to create if you are timeless or immaterial or spaceless. Right, you are using you're using qualifiers that disqualify somebody from doing something. I say, well, why personal? Because to go from a state of nothingness to a state of creation, someone had to make a choice. No, 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 no. From from uh, you saying created the universe, it has to be personal, right? So it has to be personal before the creation. So it's not timeless, it's not immaterial, and it's not spaceless. You're actually debunking yourself. And only persons can make choices. You know, impersonal forces don't make choices. Gravity doesn't decide to pull something to the ground. It's a force, idiot. Ground, right? It just does it. So oh, it just does it, yeah. So the, the cause of the universe has to be personal. You know, it just does it. No, there are formulas in, in which uh, the force of the gravity act on different bodies, depending on the mass and the distance and blah, 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 the different, uh, different um, uh fundamentals or whatever right but it, there is a science behind that not just oh because it does it that that's again your ignorance fucking talking the cause would also have to be intelligent <laughs> intelligent so gravity has to be intelligent right to have a mind in order to make it no no you cannot have a mind if you're immaterial right that you're debunking yourself right how can you have a fucking mind even if it's a huge motherfucker, right? How can you have a mind without be without without being immaterial? How can you have a mind if you're timeless? If there's no time, you're frozen, right? Or how can you have a mind without space? Are you are you that fucking stupid? Choice. So I always ask people this question, Alan. I say, when you think about a spaceless, timeless, immaterial, powerful personal yeah so basically the first three is nothing so nothing powerful nothing personal nothing intelligent that's what he's saying intelligent cause who do you think of ghost bastards who do you go people will say god no you don't know and then they'll say well how do you know it's the christian god and my answer is no 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 we don't say why is there a christian god because we are not believing your bullshit. Is we don't yet. We haven't done enough research yet. I mean, at this point, the creator of the universe could be Allah. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, no, no, no. Now you're begging the question, right? You're going through circular arguments, right? Because for you to know this, bitch, you have to read the Bible, right? And before you read the fucking Bible, you have to read the fucking uh, Tanakh, okay? The Hebrew Bible. That's where everything fucking started. The, the, the story started. <clears throat> but how do we discover if this is Allah or the Christian God? Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Why you think it's the Christian God? Why do you fuck? Why you moron think it is the Christian God? Right? When when he or she allegedly created the universe, let's entertain it. Your stupidity, right? But let's entertain it, right? Was was that entity a Christian God at that time? Idiot, right? Uh, uh, it, it, Christian God. It was a Christian God. It cannot be Allah. It had to be the Christian God. Bullshit. The Christian God was invented uh, inside the New Testament. There were no Christian God before that. Idiot. Right? What we need to do is see the evidence for Jesus' resurrection. And if we look at that evidence, I think we'll read. Look at that evidence. You know, you know, you look at that story, not evidence. There's no fucking evidence. Realize that Jesus rose from the dead, which means. No, no, no. That's a claim. That the same being that created space, matter, and time is the same being in whose human nature. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Another fuck up of, of your side, yeah? Right, so you're saying the creator of the universe, he man, right? Infiltrated Mary or raped Mary, <coughs> right? Holy spank. God, the creator, came out of Mary and is called Jesus, Yeshua. So this Yeshua is for all intents and purposes, God the Father. Right? You just said that the person who created the universe came through between Mary's legs. Right? That's what you're saying. Let's entertain that. <clears throat> walked out of the tomb 1,900. <laughs> walked out. He didn't rest the same day. He just fucking walked out. Oh, how fucking boring. Yeah, I, uh, me, myself, and I, right? Uh, I created the universe. I killed myself, right? In a cross. That sounds very, very familiar to the Superman, uh, one, uh, the latest Superman one, right? Where the geezer gets himself handcuffed uh, on purpose, right? And he's going like that. And the blood dude he says, Oh, yeah, yeah, I, oh, we got you now. So he goes into, into the interview room, <coughs> right? It's that mumbling around. And he goes, Oh, um, Boom. Uh, yeah, uh, I just wanted to uh, make you feel comfortable. Fuck off. 86 years ago, right? Mm -hmm. So, in other words, it is the Christian God, but you don't know it just from what... The Christian God. When did he... When the creator of the universe became a Christian God? When? When did he change a uh, sect? Right? The creator of the fucking universe... Uh, sorry, your God right was non-denominational right he created there was no christianism right uh by the way it was 13.7 and some fucking change billion years ago bitch right so before in this case the the uh, the young earth creation goes out of the fucking window because you are affirming that it actually exist, existed the the creation because god did it according to the kalam cosmological argument so you actually accepting a big band theory right but you have to be dishonest then you say oh no 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 it has to be fucking short it has to be only ten fucking thousand years ago okay so god made a a, a, a big band ten thousand years ago right that would be your your rationale what we call the cosmological argument the no, the religious cosmological argument cosmological argument is the argument from the beginning of the universe the second and third arguments, the second argument is the argument from the design of the universe, that if... Well, the one that is 13.7 and some change a billion years ago, is that the one you could talk about? The universe were slightly different by any one of a number of factors, virtually imperceptibly, Alan, this is called the fine-tuning of the universe, there would be no universe or there would be no universe that could support life. It's wrong. Absolutely fucking wrong. Okay, because you can change a parameter and we could be fucking better. We could be superhuman. We could have been fucking 10 feet tall, right? You are wrong. You're absolutely fucking wrong, you dickhead, right? It, we could be bad. It, 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 uh, we could not be there, right? The only reason we are here 
yeah, is thanks to a fucking meteor hitting the planet, right? And got rid of the fucking dinosaurs, bitch, right? That's how much dishonest you fuckers have got, yeah? So much fucking dishonesty is unbearable, right? You're so much, so, uh, so much of a fucking bullshitter. So the universe appears to be fine. Hold on, appears to be, appears. That means you don't know, yeah? It's a perception of yours. I thought it was evidence. You don't, you don't present an evidence to the judges. It appears to be evidence. You're dishonest shit. In tune for life to exist and even for chemistry to work. So chemistry to work, really? Right? Chemistry does fine on itself. It doesn't need idiots like you or this idiot dude, uh, Pa. And then the third so argument you mean, is the when you argument say fine tuning. From... No, he said appears to be fine tuning, right? My brother, okay? Be fucking a little bit honest as well. You know, I know Christianity are, are dishonest by default. Right, but he didn't say uh, it. Do you mean like if the sun is like the distance from the sun to the earth, like if it was further away or? No, it, you say it's impercept it, imperceptible, right? It fucking moves, right? It it it, it shifts <laughs> tidal waves, right? It, it, the earth expands a little bit because of the attraction of the moon, you fucking idiots. Right, it could be fucking ten meters, fifteen meters uh, uh, wider, bulging on, onto the equator, onto the equators. Idiots. Like, like it has to. It's perfect now, and if something was out of alignment, that we wouldn't. That's that part of it, but you th you think you think that the whole universe moves or uh, functions in a in a thin piece of paper uh, in, in dimensions. You haven't got a fucking clue that we are going away. The Milky Way is moving from a different place to, you know what I mean, different places. Maybe another galaxy will collide with us or with our, ga or with our uh, Milky Way. Okay? But that's going to be fucking millions of years from now. Even from the beginning, let me, let me just give you one fact on this because... <laughs> Let's get one fact from this fucking charlatan. This is... Uh... This is uh, hard to believe, but Hawking, oh. the atheist, put it this way. He said that if the expansion rate of the universe were different by one part in a thousand million million... A it is good. It is good that you, these fuckers uh, cherry pick a single comment and uh, blow it out of context. Okay? It could be. If you, if you, if you, if you throw a ball down a hill right it might go different ways and if you hit if you do that a hundred times it may not land in the same place all the time it may not land ever in the same place ever however many fucking throws you do it right yeah sure that's randomness for you that's chaos second after the big bang the universe would have collapsed back on itself or never developed galaxies in other words if the uh, watch this watch this this alan dude right Obviously, Frankie Boy, yeah, he's the more intelligent one, right? And this Alan Parr is the ignorant fucker that he goes, yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah, I don't know shit, but okay, fine. It's, it's hilarious. The expansion rate at the very beginning was imperceptibly different virtually than it is. Look at that, right? Imperceptibly different. He He's not comprehending what he's saying. And he goes, mm -hmm, okay, yeah, yeah. Is now, we wouldn't be here. Now what? No, that's argument from ignorance. We could be better off, bitch. Right? We could be better off. You don't know that, right? Caused that expansion rate to be precisely what it needed to be. Seems to me the same. It seems to you. You don't know it. It seems to be. That's your whole fucking shtick. It seems to be. How fucking intellectually dishonest you fuckers have to be. Being that created space, time, and matter is the same being that fine tuned the expansion rate so we could be here. Bullshit. That's a claim that you have to prove. Right? Here today. So from the very beginning, the universe is fine tuned, which means you can't say, well, by chance it evolved. No, 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 no. 
This is how the expansion rate began at the creation point. And if it were different then or different now, we wouldn't be here. So part of what- That's a claim. Okay, you don't know that. You, got, you haven't got no qualifications, right, to substantiate your claim. You're just saying it. What you said is true, but even from the very beginning, it's true. So- Here goes the other fucking idiot. Mm, yes. Mm. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah. Mm. Let me, let me. Look at That's the level of fucking intelligence. Look at that. Yeah. Hey, Frankie boy, you are correct. Yeah. I'm full of shit. I, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, but yeah, I'm going to not uh, thinking that I'm agree with you because I don't know shit. Yeah. The, the, the fine tuning shows also that the creator has to be a very intelligent and powerful being. Yeah, but you have to first, first of all prove that there is a creator. Prove it. Okay, not make a claim. You you you're making the claim as if it was proof. Okay, you you talking it out of the existence. In order to fine tune the universe to be as fine tuned as it is. And that's just one of about a dozen different things that you can look at and say, if any one of those were imperceptibly different, we wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. okay. mm. and oh, the third, third, sorry, yeah, the third. third. Yep. Yeah, the third argument is the moral argument. Uh, this is a bullshit claim as well. And the moral argument says, if there's one thing morally wrong out there, just one, like it's wrong to torture babies for fun. Really? Torture babies for fun? What? Uh, is it not wrong to torture babies even not for fun? Idiot. Why? Why the concept of fun? It is wrong to, to, to torture baby regardless of, of the end parameter. Fucker. Or it's wrong to murder six million people in a holocaust. Then there has to be a God. Why? Because if there is no God, then everything's just a matter of opinion. Well, you are giving your fucking opinion and you are Christian. Right, but your your opinion is ba is baseless. That would be just your opinion against a baby torturer's opinion. No, no, because if if the if the torturer's baby and I are see see each other, I probably he won't be alive because I'll be the fucker out of him, right? If I can, right? But if you are the intermediate, right, and I say he's wrong, what would you say? Am I right or am I wrong by saying he is wrong? You're gonna concur with me, bitch. Right. The only thing you're doing is, oh, you know, uh, Frankie boy, that it is right. So it is wrong to do that because of my God. Bullshit. It is a, it is a, a relational, um, <coughs> excuse me. It is a relational uh, agreement between societies to flourish. Right. And uh, killing babies is not flourishing. Right. It is fucking immoral in all shape, form. Or your opinion against Hitler's opinion. But we all know, Alan, those things aren't just a matter of opinion. You know that some opinions are forced upon. Like you idiot, when you go and you force your your opinion into university uh, campuses, right? It says, oh, uh, this, 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 this. It's your fucking opinion. It's your subjective opinion that, you, that you're blabbling around into colleges or university. <laughs> and you, you, you're making it as if it was true. You dishonest piece of shit. That it's really wrong to torture babies for fun. It's really wrong to murder people. If that's the case, there must be a standard beyond us. No. <laughs> what do you mean it makes, it makes a standard, right? The moral value is based on interactivity. Right, and you you gave a, a fucking definition of timeless, spaceless, uh, without shape, without anything. You took, you are saying nothing has got moral values, right? And your nothingness in the in the Bible, on the Jewish Bible, I might say, right, claims to kill the whole fucking planet minus eight individuals, which is Noah, right? So much for fucking moral compass, right? But you fuckers are gonna say, "Oh, he's got he's the right to do that because he owes everything." That's a fucking dictatorship, idiot, right? So there's no moral value when a celestial dictatorship wants to kill people because he's got fucking wimp. Who is the standard of goodness, righteousness, and justice? 
No, because he does it. So, so killing the whole fucking planet, yeah, that's it. That's a standard, right? Either you're applying double standards, or you got fucked up standards. And any deviation from that standard, which is killing, which is killing the whole fucking planet, right? So killing the planet, yeah, which is something that it will, if you deviate from killing, it is what we would call evil. Right. So it is evil not to kill. Right? Under your standards, because your God kill everybody minus eight people, like allegedly, if we entertain that fucking bullshit. Right? But you know, you, you cannot hold to that standard either, because you're a hypocrite. That standard is what everybody knows to be God. Yes. Yeah. Killing a whole fucking planet. That's the standard. If God doesn't exist, you can't say that murder's wrong. Yes, I can. I don't believe it exists. Murder is wrong, bitch. You can't say racism's wrong. Racism is, is wrong, bitch. You can't say slavery's wrong. Or slavery is wrong, bitch. Rape is wrong. Rape is wrong, bitch. Or theft is wrong. Theft is wrong, bitch. It would be just your opinion. Yeah, so is your fucking opinion. Whatever you said today, right, it was your fucking opinion. And yet we... Or are, or are you saying that it's not your opinion? What well, you just said is not your opinion. No, it's not just a matter of opinion. So the interesting thing, Alan, about these three arguments, here's, here's, here's what you get if you unpack these arguments completely. You get... Nothing. You basically get nothing, right? Spaceless plus timeless plus immaterial equal nothing. A spaceless, timeless immaterial that's it what is that the three things that you just said what is it spaceless timeless immaterial is fucking nothing powerful personal intelligent creator who created all things and sustains all that's a claim you're claiming that that is the case you're just saying it into existence as i said before by you talking out of your fucking ass yeah, and claim it as, as true. Things, and he's moral. Hey, fuck me. Moral. Killing the whole fucking planet, you call that moral. Make, it makes, it makes your, the claim that you did about the Holocaust, make, you make Hitler, or you make your God, make Hitler like a pussycat. Hitler is an angel comp against your fucking God. In the sense of killing. Or in the amount of killing. You, take your fucking pick. At the same so okay hold it before you move so more killing makes a a, a, bit, a moral person or moral entity or moral supernatural entity so your supernatural entity killed the whole fucking planet and that's the moral standards somebody caught a uh, uh, killed some fucking idiot called adolf hitler right killed eight nine million people <coughs> jews right and that is less moral for your fucking standards, according to your own fucking bullshit claims. Time, and these are the attributes of the God of the Bible, and we haven't even opened. What attributes? You 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 say something <coughs> very similar to what Darth Dawkins. Okay, he's this, he's that, he's this, he's that, right? You can say, for example, like with Superman, he's got a very long uh, eye laser. Right, he's got massive wind, a uh, blowing wind of two fucking miles. Yeah, the, the, his red cape flaps 200 uh, uh, times a minute. Those are attributes that I'm putting to a fictitious character. Making attributes does not make your claim more right. That makes you fucking dumb, stupid. The Bible yet. So... Yeah. Just from those three arguments, which is called natural theology. Natural bullshitology, that's what it's called. Uh, that God has revealed himself in two books. Uh, 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 oh, now, you, now you're going to the book, right? Now you're doing a circular argument. It's the book of nature and the book known as the Bible. You mean natural re revelation, yeah? Well, so basically you see in nature, right? You see a fucking plastic ball like this. Like I've shown some of my videos. Oh, look at that. It, it, it must be God, right? A ignorant sod. Bible, just from the book of nature, we can say a, we can see a being like God exists without even opening the Bible.
Bullshit. Bullshit. Absolutely fucking bullshit. Okay. Okay. So that's basically, ladies and gentlemen, let me go to the main uh yeah right so yeah that was fun very entertaining yeah frankie boy and alan parr uh well mainly uh frankie boy talking out of his ass yeah with three different type of claims saying yeah because i i spew out comment equal he exists what a lot of fucking nonsense ladies and gentlemen have a nice one